Now, next exercise is to understand what uh, database relationships are. So we'll be looking at 8-4 and come over here. Now, what I'd like you to do is before we actually go further into the um, exercise, I'd like you guys to um, see what is a primary foreign key relation. What does it actually mean? Right? And then I'll come back and <clears throat> after you finish that, restart so pause this video now and then go over to the canvas site to play this um, the, the relationship explanation from Microsoft and then we'll come back and we'll continue the exercise so I'll um, you can you can pause now and go and see the video okay well welcome back um, <coughs> you, you should now be familiar with what primary key and a foreign key relationship actually means and because we're using relational databases relational databases means that it must have some kind of relationship between entities so a customer has um, has a state uh, a customer owns cars there's a relationship between those entities and a customer can have many cars or they can just have one car but the relationship in a database would enable us to say uh, a customer one customer can have many cars right? and and one car belongs to or a car belongs to a particular customer so we build up a relationship within the database so it can so it um, so the database can actually look at integrity of data so in other words um, <coughs> things like we, we can set up rules to say um, a, a car can't, it can't exist in our database unless it's, it belongs to a uh, customer and so forth, right? So um, that's what relationship relational databases <coughs> uh, do through relationships. But the the other important thing is is that uh, we we look at this thing called redundancy within databases. So uh, redundancy means duplication of data. So what what we try to do is we try to split duplication. So in other words, if I've got a table. We're a custom. I've got a thousand customers, and the customers all use the field called state. And the state, uh, I'd have to type in Vic, you know, a thou thousand times for a thousand customers, right? <coughs> but um, in relational database, we try to get rid of that duplication of data. So we don't want to see, uh, you know, Vic written out three hundred times. We want to see Vic just once somewhere in a table. In the database, so re, so it, it it gets rid of redundancy, the duplication, and the only way we can do that is through relationships. So we create a state table, and then we link the state field within the um, customer table to that one record of Vic, and that means I can change Vic to Victoria, and then it'll replicate all the way through. Uh, all of my customer data. I don't have to go and modify VIC to Victoria, you know, up to thousand times. So, so relationships are extremely important within databases. So let's say let's just have a look at the exercise right now. Um, the, the, we we download or you've already downloaded version four, so we're going to open version four, and I'll just do do that now. Let's have a look. So here's my here's my database. So we're working on uh, training company 1-4. I'm going to open that. And <coughs> immediately we can see that um, um, we we have data assigned to our table. Now let's just have a look at here. Um, all the numbers and sizes. Blah, 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 blah. Now open your the, the, <coughs> the membership table to see the image. So let's have a look at the the image itself, uh, oh sorry, the image, the, um, the table, and here's my database, and remember again, enable the content, and we're working with the uh, membership table at the moment, so let's have a look here, and we're looking at, um, assigning, remember previously that we needed um, to make sure that the if I go to design it, that the auto number was of a long integer type, right? and we actually changed the program ID to to match, so that we could uh, we could extract the list 
from the project uh, program uh, table by matching the number to the uh, auto number, which is the pre uh, primary key of the table. So they have to match. Now in this case, we have to do the same thing for clients, right? So clients, you notice, is assigned a number of double, and what we want, what we will be doing is creating a relationship uh, between uh, the client and the membership. So the client has membership, has a membership, and the membership will have to be linked to a client. Right? And in this case, here in this table, the membership table, this is actually called the foreign key because it will appear many times um, in for different uh, clients. So a client will have a membership, but the next client will, might have the same membership. So <coughs> there is a one-to-many relationship between client and, mem uh, client and membership for this particular, so this is the foreign key. Uh, and the foreign key exists on the many side and the, uh, the primary key will be linked to this foreign key right? so let's just change the type so it all works correctly so the data types match <coughs> okay and remember always say <coughs> excuse me now uh, in our exercise uh, if we go back to it in our exercise, they're actually saying that you know, to do the long, long um, integer type that we, we're going to what's called the relationship entity relationship dot its um, view. Right? This is not going to an entity relationship diagram because it's um, uh, it's it's actually in the database is already functioning. An entity relationship diagram is. Is a, is a design of a database before we even get into access or any of the um, uh, <coughs> uh, database. So what we want to do is get to the relationship view and we do that by going to this option here uh, <coughs> in the database tools option on Microsoft Access and we'll be presented with a blank sheet where we have to add the entities and then create uh, create the relationship by dragging dropping fields between each other so let, let's just try that now so <clears throat> I'm back in my database and I'm going to close everything because if you go into the da database um, relationship view which is database tools relationships I'm in the view now now what I can do I can either drag these entities across that I want in my relationship view or I can say add tables um, so I can add these tables to my ref relationship view or I can even say show tables right, uh, in, <coughs> and I can double click or drag these guys to put them onto my view right so I'm just going to double click all of them okay and I'll close this because I don't need it anymore and you can see already that I've got a relationship that exists between membership and program and it happens to be the one that we put in previously we we created a uh, a link between the program ID which is the foreign key to the primary key uh, to actually give us a list in the membership uh, table that we can pick off um, uh, categories right so let me expand this out a bit so what we want to do this time is we want to actually create a relationship between a uh, client and membership and we know that uh, a client can have uh, many memberships in other words uh, a client can can upgrade their memberships which means they'll have one membership from previous records and then they'll upgrade to a new one which means that a client can have many records of a of a relationship and the way to, to do to create the relationship is we basically grab the primary key and we drag it across and drop it on the foreign key of the relationship and you can see here uh, that I've got um, the table client and table membership so client membership and I've, I'm trying to link to create a relationship between the primary key which is client ID to the foreign key which is client client ID which is okay if, if it's not matched where you've actually dropped it on the incorrect um, field you can always go back and actually pick the correct field right so you, you don't have to be super accurate where you have to drop it you can just drop it in the middle of nowhere and then just set the fields now you can see it's already picked a one-to-many relationship now I'm just going to do something um, 
we'll say that, so that you learn about the relationships, the integrity side, sort of thing. I'm not going to set it here, and I'll just say create the relationship. And you notice the relationship doesn't have any what's called cardinality shown on it. So when someone says, oh, what is the relationship between the client and the membership? The, the relationship is actually just this line, right? But when they when they want to know, is it a one-to-many, many-to-many, and a one-to-one -one sort of thing, uh, that's called cardinality. So specifically, they must ask you, what is the cardinality of this relationship? And you notice there aren't any one-to-many's, right? So I'll just right click on the relationship to edit it. And if I now set the integrities, so uh, <coughs> enforce referential integrity, we go OK. You notice the cardinality actually pops up for me. So now I can actually say that um, it's, it's a client can have many memberships or a particular membership belongs to a particular client. OK. All right. Um, just to emphasize a little bit more here I'm just going to say save okay. and you notice here we don't have any um, cardinality on it which means that this relationship doesn't have any integrity or forced forced integrity so we should actually enforce all that as well okay right so now it's nice and clean the database is nicely <coughs> like the relationships are clean with cardinality. If they don't have the cardinality, that means that your database is susceptible for errors. Right? Okay, so let's save that. And I think, uh, if I remember correctly, that will basically do for this exercise. Uh, make sure that you actually go through this this web, um, the week 804, and you know, the 1, 2, 3, 4, all the way up to 5, just to make sure that you've you've covered all the options. Yep. So that was the relationship um, relationships within a database exercise. Make sure you, that you actually do the modules, uh, the separate parts of the module anyway. See you in the next section.